Today we're going to look at 11 studs as opposed to 9 studs on an A-series. Okay. So why would you do that first off? Okay, general consensus is more studs will hold the head down with a high compression engine. So if you're running 12.5 to 1, obviously you've got an awful amount of pressure in the chambers to try to force the head off, put two more studs on, more chance of holding it down. Okay, so it's nothing to do with head gaskets then? People will tell you this, that and the other about head gaskets, they blow, this happens, that happens. It's all down to fit, machining and everything else. Head gaskets blow for a reason. It's normally down to bad fitment. Okay, and quite often it'll blow onto a 75 across the centre as well. Which is the thinnest point. Got it, okay. Would you do this on a 1275 and a 998 type Do block? them 1275 or on a 998 Mini 7, they're all 11 stud, or all the ones we do are 11 stud. Is there a point at which you think it's important? We do it on all the race engines, just for the, you know, for the matter of fact that it's there, it's done, it's belt and braces. Yeah, okay. And all the heads that are machined also come with 11 stud as well? All the race heads, all the road comp heads come yeah. 11 stud, unless the custom states nine stud when the orders. So the Cooper S back in the 60s came with 11 studs? It did indeed, it was 3.8 UNF this end, and then for some strange reason they drilled and tapped it and put a helicoil in that to bring it back to 5 sixteenths. Why the hell you would do that when you're trying to actually pull a head down to give it more torque and then put a smaller bolt in? It's crazy. Maybe they didn't know back then? I would have thought they knew. There <laughs> must have been a reasoning behind it. Okay, all right. So moving on, if we're going to convert this, it's an A plus block we've got here. That's an A plus. What's the procedure? Okay. To make sure we get these holes exactly in the right place, there are numerous ways of doing it. Everybody's got their own thoughts. I have seen some bad ways. I've seen some good ways. The worst way I've ever seen is put a head gasket on, scribe the hole and try and drill to the mark. The head gasket has got a lot of slop on it. When you mark it, scribe it, you're moving backwards or forwards. Not the best way. All the head gaskets come for 11 stud and 9 stud. They do. Yeah. So you can okay. use any BK450 or a Cometic. So we've got here an original 1275 11 stud head. And what you'll find is the standard head stud holes are very, very sloppy. This is so that all the heads fit on all the blocks because of Rover's bad machining tolerances. But what they did do, God bless their socks, <laughs> this one they made as a dowel fit. So it's a lot tighter fit. So we use that one as the datum. These ones that were originally baggy fit, we've actually made some little top hat sleeves that fit in here that now make them dowel fit. So it kind of triangulates, I suppose. One, gives two, it three. There's your triangle. Yeah. So once those three are in, it's perfect. So, we locate the first one, pop him in. So the ARP studs, you just, would you just wind in by hand, just nip just them up? Just wind in by hand, yeah. Just as a for instance, I'll just show you quickly how far out you could be. There's two ARP studs in the end two, which are baggy fit. You've still got that much of movement. Yeah. So if you haven't got it centralised, you could be that far out right. with your hole. Doing it how we do it, which is through the sleeves, if you put one, two in, bear in mind there's no nut or anything, there is nothing. You can move the whole engine on that. You can, and then we find we're perfect. Got it. Don't have a problem doing it that way. So what we do then is spin the nuts down, tighten the head up, and then we'll move on to the drill and we'll show you the procedure, how we drill it to make sure that the hole is actually in the centre of the hole because obviously the drill, the tapping drill size is a lot smaller than that. We've got two different size drills. One is the size of the hole. So, put that in the drill spindle, pop him in there, drill down so that you're going to take the top thread out of it. While it's still in position, take that out, put the tapping drill in, drill your hole, because you know you're in the centre of the hole because it's been centralised. Yeah. 
take it out, do the other end. So you've now got counter ball, tapping drill, take the head off, tap the holes. And the advantage of counter boring is that it doesn't pull the thread up. Exactly, as we showed on the previous video. When we were doing the 516 sump. sump conversion, yeah. Okay, here we now you'll see we've drilled and tapped, or should I say start tap, the two holes here and here. We've used this tap, which you'll see is what we call a second tap, taper on the bottom of it, so it starts into the hole. What we're going to use now is we're going to use this tap, which you'll see is square shouldered. This is called a plug tap, and we're going to hand tap the rest of the threads in the block. So here we go. Because we've already got part of the thread in the block, we're now going to use that as a start. There we go. So the tap's in the block now, and away we go. You'll see now with a little bit of lubrication on it, it's a lot easier to tap. We're going to go all the way through on this side because it goes into the water jacket. What you will need to remember is put some sealer on the head stud when you put this one in, otherwise the liquid, or should say the water, will creep up the thread and out the top of the head stud. So there we go, that's that one done. Spin him out beauty of drilling the holes and starting them on the drilling machine is you know that everything's perfectly square. If you try and do it at home with a Black & Decker, you will be in all sorts of trouble. So my suggestion is take it to a machine shop that's got a pillar drill, get them put in so they're totally square, and then you won't have any problems. There we go. Both ends now, drilled and tapped. We know those holes are in sequence and position to the other ones because we've used the cylinder head here as the pattern.